everybody, just arrived at Salt Lake Bay. I'm going to have a look towards the right hand side near the lighthouse. Then I'm going to go over towards Whitby East Cliff. Hopefully there'll be some good fossils down here to be picked up today. The waves are still pretty big over towards there. So I'm going to have a look to the left hand side and let the waves die down a little bit and then head over. So this is kind of cool. You can see these three lines here. I think they are little theropod scratch marks. So either from when the dinosaur was swimming in a shallow little bit of water and the toes have scraped along the sand. That's what I think that one is. Really cool to see. So unfortunately, still quite early. Can't even get around the first bit yet. But I'm having a look around these rocks, what have been washed in. And I've spotted this damaged little Hildosaurus ammonite, which is still quite cool to pick up. I'll be taking that one back. So I've just picked up this Dactyloceros nodule and I'm going to give it a tap. Quite a sea warm one. No, very bad preservation on this one. So I'm still waiting for the sea to go out. And as I'm walking by, I've just spotted this little fresh ammonite here, what the sea has revealed. That's why it's always a good idea to walk along the tide as it's going out, because it reveals and moves the stones around. So I'm just trying to make my way around now, but it's still pretty far in at the moment. So I'm going to be here for a while, I think. I have created a group on Facebook where people can share pictures and videos of their fossil finds from the Whitby area. I want it to be a friendly group for people to get help with their fossil hunting and also receive identifications on their finds. I would love to see you all join. I'll put a link in the video and also in the comments. Thank you. So you might be tempted to have a look underneath the cliffs to see what you can find. But then look above your head. There's a huge block of sandstone at the very top which looks ready to come down. And you'd be right above that. Never worth it. So I've made it round. A little bit dodgy and I've got a little bit of a wet welly. But I'm round. If you want to see more of my fossil hunting videos and finds in the future, please remember to hit that subscribe button. Thank you. A lovely looking Dactyloceros ammonite. Nice complete one. Sticking out of this rock here. Unfortunately just a partial, but there's a nice little middle of a Hildoceros ammonite here. It's quite picked over, especially towards the first bit, but maybe the finds will improve as I go further along the beach. Fresh out bivalve, it's got really nice sharp edges, so it must have just come out of the uh, shell slab very recently. Nice perinoceros inside this nodule here. See the little spines protruding out of the edge. There's the mouth border on the other side. Perfect. If you'd like to purchase your very own fossil from the Yorkshire coast, please check out my website called buyafossil.com. I've got a bunch of beautiful prepared ammonite specimens, also quite a bit of fossil bone available to purchase, and also ammonite nodules that you can have shipped to your address and crack open at your own house. Please take a look if you are interested. Thank you. A lovely looking nodule, perfect shape for a Hildosaurus ammonite to be inside. Let's crack it open. Oh, and it was empty. 
So I've spotted a Hildosterus, which is preserved in shale. You can already see that like, it's got no middle. So I won't be trying to extract it. Also, there's quite a few cracks in the rock itself. So that's nice to see. I'll leave that for anyone else if they want to have a go at extracting it, but it's probably not going to be worth it. Little pirateized duck waiting to be picked up, laying amongst the shingle. Nice golden look to it. Just spotted an ammonite on the floor. Looks fairly decent. So I'm having a quick look around this little landslide here. And I've spotted what looks like a partial Hildosterus right here, laying on this big sandstone slab. Let's have a look at it. Oh yeah, obviously shale preserved, so the middle has totally blown out. That's kind of cool to see. So I've just found this absolute monster nodule here. Let me pick it up for you. Don't know if there's going to be anything on the inside of it. Let's crack it open and see. Might just be full of minerals. It's opened up. Yep, just full of these weird minerals. That's really nice, isn't it? Two pristine looking bellamites preserved on a piece of shale together. They've had virtually no wear from the sea as of yet. So I did get a little bit excited just seeing this, but upon closer inspection, it looks like it's fish bone. And as you've seen from my previous videos, I don't actually collect fish bone anymore. So I probably will leave this on the beach. But as I've just stopped filming, I have just spotted a really nice pirateized looking duck just by my feet here. And it looks like an absolute corker. Look at that golden keel sticking out right there. Let's pick it up. Wow, they just do not get much better than that. Someone's actually given it a tap and left it. Must be quite a tough one. Certainly looks like a complete one on the floor. Oh yeah, a little bit flattened. All the matrix is pretty much gone from it. It's fully there. Really nice looking pyrotized ammonite keel protruding out from the rock, slowly wearing out. Double, a little bit worn around the edges as they always are. But there's two in there, a little small one. And on the other side, this medium sized one. So unfortunately it looks like all of this sandstone has come down very recently from all the way up there and it's covered most of the bay. None of the uh, dak nodules or ammonite nodules can gather around this bit for a while until all this sandstone gets removed but it'll be a while I reckon. Looking at the size of it. I'm call it a day here. Hopefully you have all enjoyed this video and I will see you all on the next one.